in this experiment we will study the spring constant of a helical spring from its load extension graph apparatus required helical spring with a pointer attached at its lower end a hanger or weight pan to supply load to the spring slotted mass or weight box clamp stand fitted with meter scale and you need a telescope to see the reading when we give the load at the spring if the extension is small then you have to use the telescope if the extension is large no telescope is required theory when a spring is stressed by means of a load it displaces suppose through a distance x the spring force fs is in the opposite direction that is it is a negative to the direction of the extension if x will be positive then the spring force will be negative so here we have taken the spring force fs is negative and if you use hooke's law then fs will be equal to minus k into x where x is the extension and here k is called the spring constant and our aim is to find out the value of spring constant of the supplied spring if we plot a graph taking load along x axis and extension of the spring along y axis then the nature of the graph will be a straight line like this you take load along x axis and extension along y axis we can determine the spring constant k from the slope of this graph uh, like this if you divide this length with, with with this length you can find out the slope or tan theta if this is equal to theta then you can find out the value of tan theta or slope of the graph and from the slope of the graph you can determine the value of the spring constant k and here when you take the total mass you have to add the mass of the pan if you use the uh, use a pan to um, keep the load then the total mass given to the spring will be equal to the mass of the pan plus the added weight and if the if the spring will be a soft one then you have to add very small weight that is you have to add uh, 10 g increment of mass but if the spring is a hard one then you can add 50 g or more and in this way experiment you know, we have added 10 g increment of mass like 10 g 20 g 30 g 40 g 50 g like this first you record the reading where there is no weight in the pan you see there is no weight in the pan and i have given here a mass of 10 g and you find out what is the change in length or extension here from this reading you can use a telescope to see the extension on the scale and uh, you must uh, th then i have added 20 g after adding 20 g you see the extension when you take the extension it is from the uh, value you subtract the value of the length when there is um, no mass in the pan then you add 30 g then 40 g like this you increase the mass on the pan pan or load and measure the extension i have given here 50 g then i have given 50 g i have taken five number of observations 10 20 30 40 and 50 and after the observation you plot the graph that is load versus extension graph 
and if you take the slope from the slope of the straight line graph you can find out the value of the spring constant thank you